all right troops strong and conditioned live from the patio of pain so max edwards made a comment in his infamous just puppies video which was directed towards me claiming that you needed more than burpees if you wanted to be in the complete package and fitness or whatever, whatever, whatever. However, when Max initially made that comment, I scoffed because I thought it was a tad pretentious. But the only reason I scoffed was because I'm Scottish. Scottish people scoff at stuff like this. It's ingrained within our DNA because the further you go up the UK, the more hardened and gritty people become. And Scottish people don't like people getting ideas above their station. It's probably a negative uh, trait, but it is what it is. So that was my instinct. However, those words cut deep. Those words have been ringing in my ears ever since Max uttered them. Because he had a point. He was right. There is an identity with being a Burpee practitioner. However, what is the actual identity? Because my initial reluctance to accept that point of view was the idea that you cannot wrap your identity around an exercise. But that was ultimately me just trying to win an argument in my head. And I was being stubborn. But upon further reflection, it was such a beautiful comment to make. And it's left an impact on me ever since that statement was made. Now, the reason it's made an impact is because it allowed me to delve deeper into the idea of what is a burpee practitioner? What does a burpee practitioner do? Do they just do burpees? I think that's oversimplifying the idea. And I think we need to really dig deep as to what is a burpee practitioner and what should a burpee practitioner be doing? Now, number one is a burpee practitioner should be practicing burpees. Not just including burpees in a workout, but practicing burpees because Burpees are a beautiful thing. They're an exercise which create mindfulness. They take you to a dark place. They destroy every other stress that's going on in your life for that moment on which you are performing them. However, we only ever do them in workouts when we should be practicing them because ultimately they are a skill. Burpees are a skill and anyone can attest to that statement if they try a complex burpee variation such as a navy seal now case in point when i first attempted navy seals i felt completely out of my depth it was difficult however through repeated workouts i eventually began to master the navy seal but it was probably to my detriment that i was not practicing the navy seal as a movement so practice is something that we need to bring into play because to be a practitioner means to practice and to practice means to improve and increase the chance of perfection. However, how do we include practice in the workout routine? Well, we just devote time to practice in the same way we do workouts. Looking through the busy dad lens, a 20 minute workout could be devoted to practicing the burpee, to nailing the technique to absorbing every point of contact, to establishing that cadence. No stress, no desired outcome, just practice. And maybe that's something that we need to bring into the game, where we practice the movement, taking away the stress of trying to beat PRs or trying to hit a rep target. We just practice this beautiful movement. Also, another point that's came up is that Unfortunately, in the game of fitness, aesthetics are king. This is just something we cannot get away from. Now, that doesn't mean that we should be striving to improve our aesthetics. But if we as burpee practitioners wish to sell the burpee, wish to get more people involved in the burpee community, then we need to have visual representation of what the burpee can achieve. Now, this isn't really aimed at people who have just began their burpee journey because it's a work in progress and they will get there eventually. However, for the guys who have been training for years and they've been doing burpees for quite a while and they probably let things fall by the wayside, would it not be the case that you have to rein in 
other aspects of your lifestyle in order to further enhance the ability to perform burpees and sell burpees through how we look while performing burpees. And the reason I really bring this up is because my comment section is, it would be hard to take if I was in my 20s because I get a lot of flack for how I look. And some people have a point because some of the videos I have put up over the years, I don't look that good. I'm quite flabby and I'm doing burpees and people are like, you look like shit. And they're not convinced. And we need to convince these people. And that can be easily done if we tighten up the concept of being a puppy practitioner, eating the right foods, getting the right amount of sleep, getting the right amount of recovery in, practicing our puppies, hitting PRs, training with intensity, and becoming complete puppy practitioners. Now that's food for thought. That could probably come across a tad controversial. However, this is one of the obligations of being a true puppy practitioner is having that calling card that people can see straight away that burpees work. So, to be a burpee practitioner does come with a sense of identity. And that's a beautiful thing. That is something that we should be proud of and something that we should always keep in mind when we are working hard to perfect this beautiful exercise.